Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a mocap series, uh, mocap cleanup series, and this is going to be episode two. Um, in the first one, we learned how to change the pivot offset of your imported mocap animation, and today we're just going to go one step deeper and make some <coughs> additive layer changes to the animation. So here you can see that I'm going to find the animation, which actually is going to be this one. Um, I'm going to double click in here. So this one had it, the pivot fixed already. Um, let's play this animation. Okay, but one thing I notice here is the arm. Especially the way he starts, the arm is like in the body. Alright, so I don't like that. And in fact, I'm going to change that. So if there is a part where the arm actually looks good, you want to make sure you keyframe that before you kind of start this. So let's just say from here, let's say from here. When he raises the rifle, let's say that that part's fine. Um, but from the very beginning, I just want to pull his arm out just a little bit. And make sure you don't make too many um, drastic changes here. Because the majority of your cleanup is actually going to happen inside the sequencer if you're making a film um, like I am. But like you can make some very slight adjustments like this. All right, so now his arm is actually out of his body. All right, now I'm gonna hit this thing up here. Make sure it's at zero, zero, zero. Key that. Now it added an additive layer here. So now, see the arm is not in the body anymore. Let's say I also want to move this out slightly, just a little bit, like right there. All right, I'm gonna make a key from the very beginning. So it's a little bit better. And another thing I wanna do is I want to change his the look. He's looking too far down. I want the entire animation for his head to be just slightly up like that. All right, just slightly. So I'll key that. So this is also a great way to make variations of your mocap. So let's say I needed one where the guy's walking like this. And then I need another one where he's like, you know, looking off to the left, right? So instead of having to go and record another mocap for that, or instead of having to keep making changes on the control rig every time, or however other way you were going to do it, now you can just within the animation sequence itself. Boom, key that. And now you have an animation where it's just a variation of the walking with the rifle. Right? Okay, but the thing is, at this point, maybe right here, I'm going to make another key. Oh, actually, that did not do what I thought it would. Okay, so this is why <laughs> I say don't do this too much. Because um, you're not really supposed to be animating all this. Okay, okay, I got it. 
So he's going here, 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 here. And then maybe at this point, I want him to um, turn his head back. Boom. Keep it right there. See, now he goes from looking up in the sky. To turning his head and looking at whatever is in front of him. Okay? But we'll dive deeper into actually doing adaptive layers using um, control rig and, and baking animation and all that. Because, yeah, that's, that's the majority of where you're going to be doing your cleanup in. All right, thanks for joining and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and make a comment. Bye.